Hello, and this is a re-upload. I've been scammed on YouTube. It goes something like this. There are channels out there that claim they have royalty-free music. So I do the usual, watch the video, click like, make sure they get the ad revenue, and then when I use the um, music in my video, I obviously put a link down below in the comment section. I also go one step further and I even put a credit at the end of my videos in the end credits. Unfortunately, what's happened is as soon as I've uploaded my video, I've been hit with a copyright strike. And they won't release the copyright strike unless I pay them. So what I've had to do is redo this video and change the music. So if you've seen this before and you're one of my subscribers, I'm sorry this is a re-upload, you can click off now if you want, unless you want to play Hunt the Changed Music. But if you're new to my channel, then I hope you enjoy the video. Roll camera. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar, the channel where some bloke has built his own supercar using an old Audi estate that he paid £300 for. Now in the last episode I was trying and attempting to remove the blower unit from this new donor car which is an Audi 2.7T and it didn't quite go to plan so in this episode we're going to have another go and finally crack this problem and get this blower unit out. Now I know what some of you might be saying, especially those who are following along, is I normally do one episode where I'm working on the new donor car, which is the Audi A6 2.7T. I then do a time-lapse video just for a bit of fun, and then I'll do an episode detailing the prototype. So you're probably expecting another episode on this prototype here. Unfortunately, I do have an episode planned, but for me to be able to make that episode, I need the blower unit out of this new donor car so I can get to the bulkhead. It will all become clear in the next episode, but for now we're going to have two episodes back to back of stripping down some of the parts from the new donor car. Oh, before I get back to the donor car, um, I'm going to have to tell you I'm having some issues with YouTube. I've noticed that some of you who make comments um, I am unable to reply to. So I'm getting an email through to say that some of you have made a comment and when I click reply, YouTube is not letting me reply to you. I don't know how I'm going to fix this. I might do another episode altogether trying to show you the problems I'm having with YouTube. So YouTube, if you're listening and watching my little rinky dink channel, Will you please stop messing with my subscribers? If they want to make a comment, I want to be able to respond. It makes me look terrible because if you make a comment and you don't get a reply, you probably think, I can't be bothered. Now that isn't the case. Anyway, this rant's getting on a little bit too long. I just thought I'd tell you I'm having problems with YouTube and I'm gonna continue battling. Anyway, let's get back to the donor car, which is in my garage. Now in the last episode, I was trying to get this blower unit out and I wanted to lift this uh, metal frame up so I could sort of pull this unit out from underneath. Now I couldn't quite do that and I started to get quite deep into the wiring around here. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna show you the issues and then we'll have to start work on undoing all this wiring. Right, well one of the issues is this bracket here. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll get another camera and I'll bring it in so we can have a closer look. If we take a look at this bracket here, at first I thought it was welded, but there seems to be a bolt head right at the back, which I absolutely can't get to. Now there's a bracket on the other side. 
Now, if we take a look down here, this is the bottom of the blower unit, and I can't get it any lower than that, because obviously it's hitting the bulkhead. So that means that this bracket is stopping me from pulling this blower unit out from the side. Hopefully that makes sense. If we take a look at where the air con lines used to go, which is in here, all I had to do was remove this rubber boot, easy enough, no problems, and now this is all free and loose. This also means this part of the blower unit is also loose, no problems. So that should be good to go. Now here's a bit of a headache. I'm going to remove this unit here. This is the ECU to control the engine. So I'll just get this out of the way. And we can take a look inside the bulkhead. Like so. Now if we take a look at the connectors, at first it looks like that it is bolted to some sort of metal framework which I assumed was bolted to the bulkhead but it doesn't appear to be that way it looks like it's actually bolted to the framework that supports the dashboard which is this now I'm going to try and sort of demonstrate this if I can so I'm going to sort of wiggle this and you might see these connectors move. See that? So those connectors are actually bolted to this framework. Oh, and I'd just like to point out, by the way, that if you had to take your dashboard out of your car, your Audi A6, because, I don't know, you've got a heater matrix problem, you're going to have to remove the ECU. Or at the very least, you've got to open this up, get to those connectors there, unplug those, which are there, before you can even remove this metal frame. It, it really is, it's almost like you've got to strip down the whole car to get to your heater matrix, which was not the case in the older version, which we'll probably see in a later episode. Now, what I really wanted to do is to make an episode removing the blower unit and then this metal frame, and then do a, another episode where I would remove the entire loom from this car and document it and that sort of thing. So I really wanted the dashboard loom to stay in place but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. It looks like that this entire unit, which is the frame, the blower unit, and the loom, all comes out as one piece. But there is a problem, or should I say, two problems. So if we take a look at this rat's nest of cabling and wiring, it looks like here, so let's see if I can just move this fuse box out of the way. There is, I don't think you can quite make it out, but there is a panel here with a load of connectors. Now this panel here goes under the carpet to the rest of the car. Now it looks like this panel here connects to all this loom. So I'm going to have to disconnect all of this and see if I can separate this loom on the driver's side. And there's another problem. So if we take a look at the passenger side with the blower unit, and we just see if we can, I see if we can get the camera down here. We should be able to see that this loom, it goes inside this plastic panel. See that? In there. And of course this snakes across here, up here, and in there somewhere. Now I'm pretty sure that there's going to be another collection of connectors inside here. So I'm going to have to remove this plastic trim. 
Right, let's remove this plastic panel. Here. There's a plastic cover here that just pops off. And there's a Phillips screw inside. And there's one up here. With the screws removed, this panel should pull away. Well, another rat's nest of cabling. Okay, what I'm going to do at this point, I've got to take my uh, phone and I'm going to take some photographs of all these connectors. Um, they are colour coded to a point but it does look like you could get some of them confused. So anyway, take some photos so I know how to put these things back together again. Okay, that's one side of the loom disconnected. Now I've just got to do the other side. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Right, same again. I'm going to take some photographs of all these connectors. Now it looks like these red cables here stay with the bulkhead, but this plastic frame, this uh, relay panel, comes with the framework that supports the dashboard. So I'm gonna undo these three, I think, nuts. Yeah. And we shall remove these three or multiple red cables inside here. Get these out. I'm going to be using my own YouTube videos for reference when I put this thing back together again.
like the pedal assembly which this is the electronic um, accelerator gas pedal that stays with the bulkhead but if you follow this line here this cable it actually looks like it's connected to the framework that supports the dashboard so this connector will have to be removed because I think this connector comes with the metal framework of the dash and this stays put God, this is a little awkward with a camera in the way oh dear me There we go. Right, that can be tucked out of the way. And it looks like it's the same for the brake pedal, which is actually this one here. Um, this will all make sense when I pull all the pedals out and everything. But the brake pedal is here and the clutch is here now I think yeah the pedals obviously stay put but these will follow the loom which is attached to the uh, support for the dashboard so let's disconnect these then right it's not quite everything there is another part of the loom it comes down here and it tucks inside the carpet and it's tie wrapped to the carpet so I'll have to cut that off this is for the mirror switch and then there's this here don't know what it is but that is going to have to be disconnected so I can get this out like all this is is an earth strap if we follow this lead underneath the carpet it goes to that earth tag there right let's see if I've got a little bit more slack and I can pull this frame off. Let's give it a tug. Oh, there's one more connector deep inside there, got to disconnect that one. I think that, I think that's it. This plug here just needs disconnecting. Yeah, this has been a right pain. I'm going to disconnect the loom, so from the blower unit entirely. So uh, another connector here to disconnect, and I think I should be able to get this blower unit out from underneath this uh, bracket bar. stopping this from coming out it's this earth tag here so I'm just going to undo that
Whew. Okay. The uh, dashboard brace bar is removed with the loom. So with the bar removed, I can now take a look down the back of the blower unit to see what was snagging it or what was one of the things that was snagging it and we can see the heater hoses oh hang on a minute did I disconnect those heater hoses? I'm sure I did take a look at these heater hoses yeah could have sworn I disconnected those when I was doing the brake booster. Oh well, I suppose this is the uh, fun and games of trying to video all this while you're working on the car. Every now and again, you forget to do a little job. Yeah, oh well. I'll just disconnect those. And then this blower unit should come out of the car. With the magic of editing, it's done. What you don't know is that took me about 30 minutes of WD-40 and grunting and grinding to flipping get them off. Right. This blow unit should now just be resting on this bulkhead and I should just be able to lift it out. Let's see. Okay, everything's out. This is the brace bar for the uh, dashboard and uh, the blower unit. Yeah, that was a pain. And now it's all out, it's left me with a whole host of engineering problems I'm going to have to solve. So, yeah, I think I'm going to call this an episode, so I'm going to have a tally up, I'm going to label everything, and I'll have a bacon bud tea and a cup of tea, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'm the bloke who's built his own supercar using an old Audi estate that I only paid £300 for. Now, it's not quite finished, uh, but the prototype is road legal. No, it ain't. It's not road legal. <laughs>